Well, you guys can't see it, but we have frozen fog here in Ohio this morning. Welcome everybody back to my Corvette channel. You like cool sports car, awesome people, amazing stories, sometimes some nutty stories. Right up front, I wanna tell you about our show on Saturday, right here on this channel, Viewer Mail. I love reading the emails and sharing your experiences, but I have, well, I learn sometimes and talking with you guys and reading your stuff. And here I'm stressed out about Corvette allocation for 2021, and I shouldn't be, because did you know that there's a second Corvette plant? <laughs> I'm freaked out for no reason. We're fine. <laughs> That's Saturday on Viewer Mail, and I've got something very special to share with you in viewer mail on Saturday as well. And because we got a little break in the action from deliveries and so forth and the plant being down this week, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do, I wasn't planned, but because I got some information, I'm gonna share with you tomorrow a very quick video on what we do know and what we don't know <laughs> on 2021 CA Corvette allocation. That is uh, tomorrow on this channel. Today what I have for you, four send-offs. We load up four cars and ship them all over the country. And I know you find that interesting because we're based out of Ohio. Uh, for me, it's just, it's incredible and a real pleasure to work with these people from afar and share their stuff in the manner in which we do. So we'll show you the spec, the cars that they got, and uh, we'll play around with my new toy. And, siren real quick. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna have a serious discussion about Corvette accessories. Welcome to the channel. Oh yeah. Now hey, if you have the appearance package inside the back of your C8 Corvette Coupe and you unlock the car at nighttime or you leave the door open, <laughs> back here that light will shine down on your engine. All right guys, you can't tell, but let me just tell you, it is freaking cold man <laughs> it really is <laughs> the driver's over here laughing it's like yeah ricky way lying man so what are you doing i gotta hurry up hang on there's a truck coming come on through told you every time we come out here to film in the street you want me to close that door no okay so we had to stop again that's what happens every time i record in the street <laughs> i gotta stop because there's traffic so people do they drive on the street and i'm in the middle of it Anyways, I didn't get a chance to do any detailed pictures of John's car, his 2021 C8 Coupe, going to California. But I did show you, and if I haven't yet, I'm going to show you that engine cover, how it lights up at night if you have the engine appearance package. Beautiful, something, as I said earlier, that Zora would have been so proud of, and that I know that you will be proud of as a Corvette owner. So John watches the channel. John, thank you so much. I know that you said the family is looking forward to the send-off pad. I don't know how well you can see it, so. Just to make sure you can hear it, I have my new toy for the vlog. So everybody stay back, let's use protocol, six feet back from, the driver starts moving. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. You could see the driver, I go stand, this thing must work. I go stand back, the driver goes like this. Okay, <laughs> what am I standing back for? <laughs> well, check this out. There's a send-off pad in progress. Please stay back. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> but this one, this is what happens when I load at night. I'm at the end. Of, I'm tired, man, and I get so punchy and so silly when I'm tired. But John and family, thanks for watching. Congratulations. I don't. I might have, let me get closer to the car so you can actually see the send-off pad, and we will show you the spec, this beautiful spec that John ordered for 2021. Thanks for the opportunity from Ohio to California, bro. Awesome. 
John, thanks for hanging in there. Congratulations. Thanks for the business. We have a send off for you and the family. Big thumbs up and you can't see it. It is a Z51. Give a little rub of the wing. Okay, driver, you're up. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is going on here? And we're going to be loading three, so <laughs> this is just one of three. So this one's going to California, and then we have two going to the state of Washington, both two guys named Jim. And it was real funny on the vlog. I would talk about the inventory and... Why am I using... Why am I using... I guess I, this works pretty good. Projection. Uh, Hang on a second. Somebody's coming. I have a question. Hang on, there's a question. I gotta be a spotter. I'll be back. I gotta tell you the story on, well, it made me think of the two gyms. One quick, do I have time for a quick story? He says yes. <laughs> Anyways. So I would walk around and I would tell you guys about cars arriving just to acknowledge the people that we have the awesome opportunity of dealing with all across the country. So I'd go, oh, here, this one's here for Jim. And then the one Jim would call me and say, well, wait a minute, you said this is for Jim in Washington and that's a ceramic gray car. I got a red car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then go, oh, this is for Jim in Washington. Hey, that's a red car. I got a ceramic gray car. <laughs> it's so, yeah, I actually have two Jims going to Washington on this truck. Uh, we're going to load one uh, tonight and the other one tomorrow morning. More on that. And then I have a really nutty story on how truly, yeah, how small the world really freaking is, man. It's crazy. i got to tell you the story from 2016 when uh, we weren't doing YouTube just yet. But it's amazing, uh, interesting, and uh, something to talk about. And it's another story. So it is Corvette related. So I'll be back to tell you that. i got to go help him spot here. Wow, does that thing look good at night? And I can't play it off anymore. I've got the earmuffs on. I've got the thicker gloves on. It is so cold out here. Oh my gosh. So this is the gym getting the ceramic gray car going to Washington State. We're going to load the other gym's car in the morning on this vlog. Now let me tell you, just tell you a quick story about 2016 and how small our world really is because of the internet. So. I had my first two 2000, I, I can take this off so I can even hear myself talk to you guys, it's crazy. So in 2016, my first two cars coming into the dealership were both, this is ironic, I'm telling you, you wanna talk about stars lining up, check this out. First two 16s coming in were both Z06s. They were both shark gray. I sell them right away. Both to clients in Washington, unbeknownst to me. Just doing my thing. And because it was in the summertime, these guys come and got their cars. I'm not shipping them. They fly in. They're going to take delivery. So the one's scheduled on a Monday, the other's on a Thursday. So the first guy's in from Washington on Monday, and da da da. And I say, hey, you got another one going to Washington later in the week. He goes, yeah, really? Where? I go, I, I don't even know. Let me pull up the folder and pull up the folder. I said, you got to be kidding me. You guys are going to see each other at the gas station. Both customers lived in Bellevue, Washington. Just out of the blue, man. Is that crazy or what? So they, thank goodness, one had black wheels and one had chrome wheels. Other than that, they both had shark gray Z06s. Got right here, it's your boy Ricky from Coughlin Corvette. And, and they both drove home. So it was, it was really crazy, but it is so neat to connect with you guys at that level and this much fun because of what this car is. So thanks for sharing in the moment. Uh, Jim has, and you can't, I don't know if you can see it, uh, just the regular Stingray, not a Z51. Even though there's a new engineered tire on the Z51 of John's car we just loaded, I could tell the difference in the feel in this, in these conditions. Not a problem. And I told you guys, when I get my car, I intend to drive it every day I can, including this weather. Absolutely. I need to get my money's worth, man. <laughs> I got news for you. You guys want to start new music? <laughs> It's so damn cold. If you guys want to start museums in your driveway and your garages, you go right ahead. I'm driving the freaking wheels off mine, man.
Jim. Beautiful car, man. And we have a send off pack for you, sir. Thanks for the business. Congratulations. Boy, I've done that before to help the drivers. That is a nervous feeling being up there. doing that in a stick shift and all of a sudden the thing starts to roll backwards you're like whoa baby oh man yeah yeah at least the sun is out it is so cold uh, i might as well share this with you guys now that it's on the top of my mind again as i was just saying you can't really understand how hectic it is sometimes once we get to the point of delivery trying to get things in order i have a process which i think i'll share that with you uh, in an upcoming vlog and how i prep a car getting it ready for delivery and what i do uh, every single time i'm just kind of my nutty mindset and just you have your processes and i like that's my corvette ocd i want things done a certain way so we were trying to get those two cars shipped to washington the one car just got the accessories. Chuck came in early, I came in early, got it prepped, put the stripes on, everything ready to go. The driver even stayed overnight waiting for us. It was so hectic. We just didn't have enough help to get the car detailed and clean. A bunch of other stuff was already scheduled ahead of us. Finally, the driver said, hey, I'm a TikTok man. I gotta be here, 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 and here. He rolled out. I was just like, after I'm run, I mean, customers saw me literally sprinting through the showroom I haven't done that in a while. Uh, <laughs> didn't even pull a hammy. And I just felt so bad because I'm trying to coordinate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Rick, shut up. The second truck is here. <laughs> All right. For those of you watching, you're like, okay, Rick's going to do another send off, Pat. For the owner of this car, though, he's probably thinking this day would have never come. And I'm not trying to joke about it because this is one of the situations I told you that I've been really upset about. And Jim and my you know, Jim in Washington State and my past customer and Ed, those two guys got totally jacked up, stuff that was out of our control. I never felt more handcuffed and more embarrassed waiting on GM accessories. We've been telling you, we've been telling the saga of the accessories. I, I don't get it, man. It's a nightmare. So many people that we're talking to on new orders going in, they're like, hey Rick, I don't want my car sitting there for two months. So when they put their order in, they're smart. We encourage it right now until things get settled down not to order accessories on your car. And on my car, yeah, I actually ordered. I like some of the stuff that you guys, oh, I gotta show you this one thing. Hang on, driver, I gotta show the people. That's fine. So the accessories thing is just, is, is really tough. We showed you the one video. The decals right here on Mark's car, I put those on. I had to put those on Jim's car as well. So it's unfortunate we have to deal with that stuff. And I, I can't say I'm sorry enough to Jim you know, it's the old adage, it's not my fault, but it's my problem. Um, I just really, he's been a gentleman. I appreciate you hanging in there. Uh, it's the second time that we've done business from Ohio to Washington State. So I'm gonna ask the driver some help. Would you hold this camera over here sure. for me for a second? Yeah. So this is one of the accessories that I ordered. Show the folks this. So this is the front cargo organizer. Comes in this little deal, kind of cute, huh? So you unsnap it here, and unsnap it here. And then you just put it down in there. See, there's all your little storage bags and stuff. You put it down in there, put all your crap so it doesn't roll around. So this is this was not the accessory holding up Jim's order. And that's what was frustrating. We could see everything sitting at the warehouse and I'm looking down and they're not on there. The one thing that was holding up all of his accessories, engine cover, side rocker extensions, were the splash guards. I said, screw it. Forget the splash cards. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Conti. We can't send the order unless it's complete. That is our policy. Duda, whatever. So I'm going to get off the soapbox. I'm not going to rant. I just want to really, for the apology to Jim and for you guys ordering accessories, you know. Whoa, hang on a second. Let me let me just double think this. I hate to see your car held up because we do business so so much across the country. I couldn't send this to a Washington State dealer and have them drill on rivet on those side rocker extensions and the customer said no i don't want them doing that that's why i'm buying from you so i'm glad we got it done so thanks for hanging in there guys and it's a beautiful spec check out what jim ordered from washington state
So hopefully I didn't go on too much of a rant there. But it is a concern and I've always been real with you guys and I'm just, you know, what's, what has happened in the past, let's go back on the accessories thing. Because I always order a lot of the gym accessories. I love those things. Hang on, send off that time. For Jim in Washington State, we do have a send off pack for you, sir. Big wave, big thumbs up, rub of the wing, a salute, a bow for waiting and understanding. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so what's happened in the past is when I would order accessories for stock cars, those things would show up like a week or two before the car got here. And I just don't understand. And again, I'm just thinking out loud here. And because I don't understand. It's basically, in my opinion, those accessories should have been made, produced, sitting in the warehouse and waiting to ship until, until this car's produced. I mean, the VIN number is on the box so they know what car those accessory parts go to. And then there would be no hiccup in, in just doing business. It's been difficult enough this past year and a half to do business. Why are we having one more roadblock? So what I'm seeing is, is that the car's being made and then they're requesting or ordering or whatever accessories after the car's already made. So it's already too late. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, well, those aren't available. Oh, well, this is not available. <sighs> Make them. Put them in the warehouse. Ship them. Give them to us early. We'll pay you in advance if we have to. But get us the freaking parts. I, I knew I was... I'm trying not to. I was just... I talk about this and when I talk to you guys on the phone and off camera, it is... It is a more raw conversation and I'm just, I'm bummed and disappointed because there are some nice things on there that I want, I know you guys want on your cars, but going forward, you've really gotta, you gotta rethink the accessory thing until we have, not, not we, Chevy, whomever has this stuff in order. I mean, you're ordering stuff and they're pulling stuff off orders. That's all that happened last year. You know, the high wing back and forth, uh, the ground effects package, the outdoor car cover, sill plates. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Enough already. Let's, let's come to work to work. Let's get it done. You know, what I say before, not looking for excuses, looking for results. Let's find new ways to win. Let's find ways to take care of our customers. And if there would have been anything in my control to make this happen sooner than two months, I would have. Okay, so I, I, I think that this vlog is not real if I don't have this conversation with you guys. So thank you for listening. Thanks for understanding my frustration and my embarrassment um, for things that are simply out of my control, man. It's just, just nuts. I told you it's dangerous for me to have something on my mind to really talk about and I turn this camera on. I'll just I'll talk to you guys forever, man. All right, you guys, I'm sorry. I've talked about it enough. I just like sharing everything with you guys so you know what's going on in my little corner of the Corvette world. Man, we're reaching people all over the place. David and Kathy in Texas. This, uh, what you're seeing right here, is probably not a uh, familiar sight. I mean, I know some parts of Texas have gotten snow lately, just outside of Houston and so forth, but yeah, this is, this is nothing you really want your Corvette in. But let me tell you this. Well, we know it's a Z51, but we heard from Taj at the reveal of the C8 car back in July of 2019 that that Z51 summer only tire was re-engineered. And, well, it's not a whole bunch of snow, but I drove in this crap to get over here to load the car, and I have it in weather mode, and I'm impressed it wasn't slipping and sliding, worked out really well. But David's like, hey, Rick, I got news for you. My car's, that's the only time my car's gonna be in the snow. Okay, but I just, you know, for anybody else that's in the climate that we have, uh, pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting indeed. And of course, the all-season tires. This is this is a no-brainer. But David and Kathy, thank you. Congratulations! I'm so excited for you. Show this thing off. That's what it's all about. And enjoy it. I appreciate your business. You have no idea in edit you're gonna see the send-off pat but I gotta tell you I almost got hit three times I keep stopping for the cars going by okay now it's time 
for the send-off, Pat. The official congratulations for the new Corvette. David and Kathy in Texas, thank you to send off Pat for you. Outstanding. I hope we get a chance to meet you guys one day. I do a lot of business in Texas. I love going to Texas. Lots of friends and customers. I plan on going to see Steven at LMR just outside of Houston. Yeah, buddy. The driver loves the front parking camera, man. You got that camera on for you? Is that helping you? I do, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's really slick, man, for loading on a lift gate. <laughs> Absolutely. And I can see exactly where the back edge of the trailer is. See? Right, exactly, man. Look that's at that. really cool. Tire it's treads. technology. Oh, outer perimeter of the car. Yeah, you're good. You're lined up good. All right. I think I need to do a vlog with just cue cards. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Oh my God. Yeah, we might do something fun and silly like that too, but still on point, still about Corvette, uh, as we did today. Hope you enjoyed today's upload. Um, I don't think we minced any words, did we? Yeah, that's just thanks for being here. Appreciate your support. Continue to do that. Subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me. Hit the bell notification, thumbs up this video, make those comments down below, and we will see you tomorrow for what we do know and what I don't know on 2021 Corvette Allocation.